Hi everybody, Josiah here, also known as Chilling Silence, and today I want to have a chat with you about what the Digibyte Android application does when it is syncing data, and why it is important for you to run a Core wallet on your PC if you can. So what we can see is on my wallet here, it's currently syncing, and you can see up the top there, uh, it is downloading data. So what does it actually do when this is happening? Well, what it gets is called headers. These are small little bits of information, the headers uh, of the Digibyte blockchain. Now it gets this from the core Digibyte wallet. So you can see on my computer here, I'm currently running the core Digibyte wallet and under number of connections, it says that I have 15, one of which is an inbound and 14 is outbound. So what this means is that one person has connected into me and I have connected out to 14 other people. The reason that I've connected out to 14 other people is to ensure that I can get a good geographical distribution and to ensure that I'm not just getting the blockchain from any one malicious person. So I've got a mini consensus happening here between the 14 people that I'm currently connected to. So why is it important that you run this? Well, the Android application will be one of those that will connect to anybody who's running a core Digibyte wallet. So in this case, I have one person who is currently connected into me. That could be a full core wallet, or it could be one of the mobile applications. So what I'm gonna show you to, that you can do today is if you go into the settings and then into your options, we have here open configuration file. When you open the configuration file, what you want to add in is something like this here, max connections equals 500. So I've gone and added this in, but I've not yet restarted my Digibyte wallet. Once I restart the Digibyte wallet, it will then apply these new settings. So what I want to do here is go to file and go save, and it's going to ask me if I want to accept the changes. If you say yes, you can then close that file and restart your wallet. So what do you need to do from there? Well, after that, you need to open up your firewall and ensure that connections uh, to and from the Digibyte core wallet are being allowed. One last thing after you've done that is you need to open your router or forward the ports from your modem. This is going to look a little bit different depending on your vendor and model of, of router and modem. So what it will look like once you've gone and opened it is instead of it saying that you have a number of connections being 15, what I'll actually do here is I'll go into the console and I'll type in get network info. And this is going to, if I scroll up a little bit, it's going to confirm up here I have 15 connections. So on another server that I run, if I type Digibyte CLI, get network info, it's going to show me here that this particular one has 151 connections. So why is this important? Well, you see, as we start to scale up and ramp up, more people are going to download the Digibyte application on their Android or their iOS phone. And that's what's going to connect back to other core wallets that are currently sharing the blockchain with people. So we want to ensure that as more people jump on and more people open up their wallets, it has a good opportunity for it to synchronize and stay synchronized. Let's say we had 5 million people, 10 million people, 100 million people all running the Android and iOS applications. We would need a good number of people running the full core wallet on their PC in order to sustain that kind of volume. And that's why we're running this uh, run a full node uh, push at the moment so that we can encourage more people to run a full Digibyte wallet and to share the blockchain and also to help support the mobile application users at the same time. So I hope this has been educational. I hope you've learned a thing or two about this and I hope that you will download the full core wallet and forward the ports from your modem or router to your PC, unblock it in the firewall and start sharing the blockchain with the mobile users. Until next time.